Chapter 3, The Celestial Child. Guided by the stars, the Fellowship embarked on a perilous journey to the heart of Etheria, a place where magic and science converged with unparalleled intensity. Here, they believed, they would find the child who held the key to the convergence. The path was fraught with trials and challenges. They navigated through the labyrinth of mirrors, a place where reality itself twisted and turned, reflecting their innermost fears and desires. They faced the riddle of the other, a puzzle that required a harmonious blend of magic and science to solve. Along the way, their bond grew stronger, and each member of the fellowship discovered hidden strengths within themselves. Thistlewick's inventions bridged the gap between magic and science, Celesta's wisdom illuminated the path forward, and Varus's reformed enchantments protected them from the lingering darkness of Malachi's influence. As they ventured deeper into the heart of Etheria, they became aware of a pervasive energy, a resonance that pulsed in rhythm with the very heartbeat of the world. It was here that they discovered a hidden sanctuary, a place untouched by time. In the center of the sanctuary stood a cradle of ethereal light, and within it lay the child of the convergence. The infant's eyes sparkled with the essence of magic and the brilliance of science, a living embodiment of the union between the two realms. With trembling hands, Ilara and Kale approached the cradle. They knew that the destiny of Etheria rested in the hands of this child, this celestial beacon of hope. And as they gazed upon the infant, they felt a profound sense of unity, a merging of purpose and understanding that transcended the boundaries of magic and science. But their moment of discovery was not without its challenges. As they stood before the child, the very fabric of Etheria trembled. Malachi, weakened but not defeated, had discovered their location. With a final surge of malevolent energy, he sought to seize the child and claim the power of the convergence for himself. A fierce battle erupted within the sanctuary, a battle that tested the fellowship's resolve and strength. Sparks of magic clashed with beams of science, and the very ether itself seemed to roar in protest. In the end, it was the unity of the fellowship that prevailed. Alara and Kale, Thistlewick, Celesta, and Varys fought as one, their combined abilities forming a barrier of protection around the child. Malachi's dark magic was repelled, and he was once again sealed, this time forever. His ambitions shattered like the fragments of a broken mirror. As the battle subsided, the child of the convergence opened its eyes and smiled a smile that radiated with the promise of a new era. The destiny of Etheria had been fulfilled, not through dominance or power, but through the harmony of magic and science, of friendship and unity. Chapter 4, Etheria Reborn With the child of the convergence safe, and the threat of Malachi forever banished, Etheria blossomed into a realm of unparalleled wonder. The city of Ethergate became a beacon of knowledge and enlightenment, where scholars, mages, scientists, and inventors worked together to unlock the deepest mysteries of the universe. The boundaries between magic and science remain blurred, and new discoveries were made every day. Spells and formulas intermingled, creating marvels that defied explanation. The people of Etheria reveled in the harmony of their world, where the other flowed freely, and the possibilities were boundless. Alara and Kale continued to lead the way, their friendship serving as a testament to the idea that unity and cooperation could shape the destiny of a world. They shared their knowledge with all who sought to learn, fostering a spirit of collaboration that reached every corner of Etheria. The Fellowship, too, found their place in this new era. Thistlewick's inventions fueled innovation, Celesta's wisdom guided the pursuit of truth, and Varys used his reformed enchantments to protect and heal. Together, they contributed to Etheria's continued prosperity. And so, the chronicle of Etheria continued, a story of a world where magic and science walked hand in hand, where the boundaries between the two realms were forever blurred. It was a world where unity and friendship had shaped destiny, where the power of one was amplified by the strength of many. In the end, it was not the power of magic or the wonders of science that defined Etheria. 
but the harmony of both a harmony that would endure for generations to come.